Okay, so uh, what this is is a Ring Zero 64-bit identity mapped operating system. So uh, the first thing that you have to know, you have to understand the identity the, uh, memory map. So we say mem BIOS map. Oops. What what what? Mem. Mem BIOS. BIOS rep. Okay, so this is the uh, physical memory on the computer. Um, there's there are gaps. Um, we stick to identity mapping, so that means virtual is identical to physical. So um, that's just uh, you know how there's organic food and it doesn't have pesticides. Somebody might say, well, why don't you use paging? because it's a it's a identity mapped operating system like organic food <laughs> um, anyway um, some people might I get some people don't get it they say but why don't you use paging I want it to be simple for everybody to understand one of the advantages is um, each task uh, uh, an address is is distinct. Well, an address is an address. You never have to ask the question, whose address is it? So all these tasks are at different addresses. Um, our own stack pointer. Let's look at the stack pointer um, for a couple tasks. Oops. Okay, control B. So the stack pointer is uh, 1, 2, E4, something crazy. So that's in the uh, this stack pointer. FS is the FS segment register, and that points to the current task. Oops. So uh, this 1, 2, blah, 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 1, 2, 8. This one is uh, one two blah 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 nine three eight. Um, that's uh, there are different addresses. Um, they're fixed size. That's the worst part about this operating system. You can't grow the stack. That's a major bad problem. But anyway, um, there are lots of advantages. Anyway, so uh, so. Um, if you know assembly language, there's a, there's a call instruction that's 32-bit relative. So that's plus or minus 2 gig. Unless you want to do a move RAX number and then do a call RAX, that's ugly. I, I, what I do... I put all code in the lowest two gig. So uh, here's here's the vision. The vision is um, a souped-up Commodore 64. Um, so there's a I set a limit of a hundred thousand lines of code. Um, I don't want third-party libraries. I, I want I want this like a Commodore 64 ROM. And uh, what we're going to do is, uh, uh, let's see. So, because, okay, I don't want multimedia. That is against my, I don't like multimedia for programming. I don't like it when a game is a movie. Um, I want, um, you remember how the Commodore had sound where people programmed it? That's what I want. Um, so you can say sound. I can't hear this, but it'll appear on the video. You can. Do you remember? How about as a kid? Do you remember? Uh, every ki every kid should have the joy of doing this.
every kid. So here we go. Uh, I want some feedback so that I can see what's going on. Unfortunately, we have one voice. Okay, so God said 640 by 480 is a covenant like circumcision. God said uh, um, that one audio voice was a was what he wanted. Um, I take that to mean we could have different different waveforms, but just one one note. You can tell it's it's very convenient if you have one audio voice, because then all your songs can just be eighth note B D eighth note triplet F G A. There, if there's one audio voice, it's all simple. That's kind of uh, you know how when you make it. Uh, when things get bigger, they get catastrophically bigger. Well, when they get smaller, they get awesomely smaller. Anyway, so we don't have a linker. We don't have an object file. Um, our, uh, my compiler, um, this is hilarious. Um, you just include the code. <laughs> my compiler does not have a linker. You can link when you load. But actually, I want everybody to do just in time. There's no reason not to do just in time. If you do just in time, you don't have binary files. Um, so uh, um, that's kind of. Uh, let's go over. Uh, uh, so the vision is kind of like what a common. Not people take it too literally. It's a 64-bit souped-up Commodore 64 that fills the niche. That's the critical thing. We want to fill the niche that a Commodore served. Uh, it was before there was internet. And uh, I can go over the features, although it's, I've already done a video. So it has, has the Oracle. It's x86-64. It has Master Slave Multicore. It's free, public domain, 100% open source. 64-bit compiler assembler with Holy C, no 32. God said it has to be perfect, so um, we have to break compatibility if there's ever a problem. And uh, 640 by 480. I set a limit of 100,000 lines of code to keep it. That's to keep it. Um, so if you don't have, if you, I forgot I was going to say, uh, um, the memory gets fragmented and it loads whole files. But as long as you're not doing multimedia, you won't run out of memory. It's kind of almost like not... <laughs> you know how journaling file systems uh, never reuse stuff? Well, you can almost do that with memory. But uh, anyway, so um, it has... A, I, wanna, I want Linux and Windows to support my file system. It's a blemish free fat 32 is blemished i want um hard hardware companies to support um bios with p ata pio and adapi pio i want to command them i want to get rid of iso 9660 file system and just have red c i have a partitioning tool i have bootloaders i have an editor browser with all kinds of fancy graphics and text I use 8-bit ASCII. Isn't that funny that they're still using 7-bit signed ASCII? Control-Alt-A will let you print a... will let you insert caret pi. Graphics and source code, 64-bit pointers. Um, I separate the bottom 2 gig for code. So ring 0 only, 2D, 3D. It has differential equation solver, file manager, profiler, PC speaker support music. Okay, so um, that, that's okay. Uh, so that, how about that?